also went to Miss Cynthia a while ago. Who? Miss Cynthia Carion a while ago. Cynthia Carion, yeah. You mentioned that uh, on the 5th, your first meeting uh, coming together as a, as a board, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the, the board, uh, we will have a board meeting on uh, Monday. I think that's at 3 o'clock, that's been called. And I, I will be joining that board meeting and hopefully uh, be recognized. And there will be a turnover that I am the incoming already. I'm the incoming uh, president of the field. Sir, um, just Together I, with uh, Bambol, the chairman. So I just wanted to ask, uh, when, that, when that turnover does happen, which I'm assuming will, uh, what are the what are the first issues that you want to address today? Well, there's a lot of things to do. No, one is uh, I, I'd like to create an arbitration and a dispute committee. There's a lot of disputes among the NSAs that we need to be able to settle, and uh, I'd like to do that right away. And uh, we're moving towards that. I'd like to be able to get a baseline of what we have in, in, in the POC in terms of the financials, in terms of the records in terms of what we need to do uh, to move forward so that's that's what I'm going to do I'd like to honor uh, uh, Mr. Kuanko and give him his due and uh, and recognition as well so these are some of the few things that we want to do I've been able to meet up with uh, with Chairman Ramirez already understand his programs I'd like to be able to meet up with uh, Secretary Cayetano to be able to look at what the plans are for for the Southeast Asian Games 2019 and especially for the upcoming Asian Games. So there's so much I'd like to do. I also like to meet each and every athlete. I'd like to be able to to motivate them to fight for country. Hindi lang puso, buong puso ang ko. Lagay na natin yung buong puso natin sa paglaban para sa there are a lot of people are saying that you're the man who's going to unite these NSAs, uh, especially with uh, a bit of the division, seguro after the last election. Kano kalagay po yung challenge na yun? I get very scared when I'm when I'm told that. All I can tell is uh, I I will try my best to unite and work with the with the government, to work with PSC, to work with with people in POC, to work with the athletes, to work with the, empower the NSAs. Uh, that's very important because at the end, it's the NSA that will have accountability for performance. So, ang masakit lang is the disputes in the NSAs. When there are disputes in the NSAs, we cannot find the best athletes. We need to look, we need to go beyond the disputes and look for the best athletes that can actually uh, represent our country to fight for us. Sir, uh, are there any short-term goals already, uh, especially given the fact that Asian Games is coming up and the Sea Games are, is coming even closer? Do you already have any specific uh, short-term goals that you have set for your president? Uh, no, I don't have that. Uh, my short-term goals are programs or activities that I have to do. And hopefully by doing all that, uh, we will have a good result, a better result in the Asian Games and in the Southeast Asia. Sir, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Sir, thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, sir, so aside from the existing NSAs and the disputing NSAs, are there sports that are you look, you're you looking into accrediting you know, to you, come you, you know, I just met this sport called powerlifting. It's so amazing. I, I met I met the, the ORD, the lady, and she's an Asian champion. So I'd, I'd like to get to know more about powerlifting. I met uh, the, the sports called... Uh, uh, obstacle course and uh, I met their athletes they're, they're excellent these are unknown unknown sports that are coming up we, I understand also that uh, jiu-jitsu is a very good uh, chance for for medals and uh, we do have a very good jiu-jitsu uh, jiu-jitsu mentor who trains not only here but overseas uh, in, in jiu-jitsu it's very use a recognized sense. So these are the types of things that we should take a look at and see where these talents are coming from and hopefully possible gold medals. And with the Asian Games around the corner and the Sea Games just a year away, are you confident with our Philippine athletes that will be able to uplift from the, uh, uplift the country from its worst finish last year? Uh, yes, last year? I will only be as confident as the NSA say that they have athletes that can compete. No?
I have not seen the programs, but I have confidence that if we allow the NSAs to do what they have to do in training and support them, we will have a good uh, harvest.